Okay, today marks the, the conclusion of this long journey that was the episodic visitation of uh, religious institutes of women in the United States. And as the person entrusted with this service to our congregations, I do feel a sense of gratitude uh, to the Holy See for caring so much about the women religious of our country to have conducted this service to us and to see that it has ended with many positive results in, in dialogue with the dicastery, in hearing that so many in the church, and especially that the, the Holy See places such great value on our life and is doing all that it can to help us in our journey of continuing fidelity to the church. The Holy Father's Apostolic Letter to All Consecrated Persons is a wonderful, wonderful message. I've read it so many times. I've shared it with my, my council, with my communities. And we, as a congregation, are planning initiatives throughout the, world, throughout the whole year to re-excite our sisters to the depth, the beauty of our own charism, to evaluate our presence our presence within our community so that we can be better signs of communion, our communion with other institutes, our communion with our local and universal church, and the quality of our ministry to others. And so as a religious superior, I see so much that we as a community can work on. As one who conducted the apostolic visitation, I, I am just very impressed that I see the working of the Holy Spirit so clearly. The three objectives that the Holy Father gave us in order to wake up the world are to look at our past with gratitude. And I see that during the apostolic visitation, we did that. We all went back to our founders, our foundresses, and we rediscovered the joy of belonging to institutes founded by persons who had received this unique gift of a charism from God. The apostolic visitation and the way it concluded today give us that desire and that joy to live our present with passion, as the Holy Father asked us to do in this letter, and also to look forward to our future with hope, hope that the God of surprises will continue to keep the religious presence, not only in our country, but in the world alive, because he said we as consecrated persons do have a prophetic dimension that only we can give to the church. Here are some concrete ways that we as women religious can use this document of the Holy Father. We can be sure that each of our communities, each of our sisters has a copy. It's a very readable, very hope-filled and joyful document. And then take to heart what the Holy Father is asking us. He's asking us to, throughout this year, and then, of course, to continue, what we do in our quiet, simple ways, collaborate with other religious institutes, um, invite the lay people with whom we collaborate to celebrate with us different moments of celebration of thanksgiving to God for the gift of our vocation so that they too can see the richness of the various charisms in the church and to work with our local churches, our parishes, our bishops in um, spreading the good news that consecrated persons can bring to the church.